Oh, there's a fast lane, D. There we go. <laughs> That's my bike. This sound better than your RS V4. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You ride? I wish. The R1M is, of course, dead. You can't make this stuff up, man. You really can't. Down to two bikes. As y'all know, the H2 is getting the stage two package installed as of right now. The M1000 is actually being entered into the show or event that we are headed to right now. The Ducati, we were still waiting on the wing to come in. It should be here today because one of the tabs broke. It's right there and she is all pulled apart. So, rain it is. Let's go, baby. Like I always say, you really don't have to be going fast on this bike to just enjoy that cross-plane symphony, man. Just listen to it. <laughs> oh, man. But all right, let me stop playing around, man. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is a completely different day. I recorded a whole video of me riding to this event. I got home that night and there's no audio so <laughs> freaking GoPro is killing me sometimes man but it's not stopping the road to one mil baby but man look at this view god a beautiful Tampa there's just something so relaxing about water I don't know what it is it's whether it's the lake the ocean oh okay I see a little BRZ we got a little challenger they mobbing, boys. I like it. But in this video, we are headed to the Festivals of Speed, which is a supercar slash hypercar slash muscle car slash bike show. This is my first time ever having a vehicle entered into a show. It was really cool. You guys really liked the last video I did at a Cars and Coffee. And I know it's winter time for a lot of you guys up north. <laughs> but all right, we're gonna cut to me getting to the event. So we got rain parked up here. Y'all can actually appreciate carbon fiber in the sunlight. We got two Envia Gooses out here. We got an F4. Look at this exhaust back here, man. With the four pipes coming out the rear. We also got an F3 in this beautiful matte black. It's got the three pipes coming out the back. Single-sided swing arm. And they look a lot thinner in person. Pretty cool, you never see MVs out. So nice sight to see, especially in the black. And then the red with all the carbon down here. I wonder if that's OEM or if you added all that stuff on. Yeah, you guys comment down below. Do y'all like MV Augustas? You think they're overrated? I think they're beautiful. Kind of have been toying with the idea of getting one. So uh, <laughs> yeah, let me know. Works of art or overhyped? Oh man, we got just a random V4R. I wish I could have rode the duck, but it is what it is. It happens. Yeah, it looks good. And he's an exhaust. It's the only thing he's missing, but. What do y'all think about that dry clutch clever? The most indiscreet cop cars ever. LT1 Camaro. Sheesh. You guys stopping or you not stopping? <laughs> Let me know. Tampa Bay Motos. Mona is out on display. She's looking beautiful in the sunlight, man. We also got a single lot out here. It's pretty cool to see these two. A lot of similarities, of course, but the colors on this bike, BMW went crazy on it, man. That is definitely a sight to see. Hey, he's looking out, man. He's like, you gotta get the girls with the bike. I don't even know if I'm gonna mix with this, this, or that. Which one's your favorite? Which one's your favorite? At all three. Oh my god, don't put this spot like yeah, that. Yeah, now you gotta pick one. Favorite. Which one's your favorite? Oh my god. Pick, just god. pick one. You won't hurt anyone's feelings. Oh my god. She wants to know which one she can ride. <laughs> which one can she ride? You're like this? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Hopefully they said this one. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, that's my bike. Uh, yeah, that's mine. That's why that's I'm asking. Yeah. All right, guys, we got Chris and Ryder over here. Which bike out of all these is your favorite? Oh, y'all going with Mona? There we go. That's what I like to hear. Right now. There we go. I say subscribe. I appreciate you guys' support. Y'all watching the videos. There we go. Yeah, the KB Forever on there, but yeah, look at the carbon. That is so nice. This sounds better than your RSV4. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Oh, there we go. Y'all heard it 
on the RSP board right here, man. The Diablo. Look at those pipes. The boy lug exhaust on there, quad tip. I know that sounds probably just. And look at the interior. That's so good. Manual gated too. That is great. Can you imagine walking out in your garage and just seeing this sitting there? Another S tier over here. I know, right? That's, can you imagine walking out and seeing that? A design from like the 90s or 80s, and it still looks good. We got another Akutosh over here. Once again, another car that was on everyone's wall as a kid growing up, man. And look at the little bat wings back there, the little gills. It gives it such an aggressive look. This is my first time ever seeing one in person. With the split window. Of course, it's gated manual. And of course, with the quad tips on there. Golly. saw this maybe there's another lambo it didn't have the forged carbon the last one i saw at the cars and coffee i was at but y'all know i'm a sucker for some uh, some forged carbon i've been toying with the idea of maybe putting it on the h2 what do y'all think about the orange wheels or gold wheels gold wheels are sick yes i think all that yes. forged carbon on there gold wheels rider like the gold wheel. what? all right everyone's a fan of the gold <laughs> man y'all comment down below let me know we got the lamborghini diablo out here 1260 i know right <laughs> this thing is something you got to see in person to really appreciate it. Uh, single sided swing arm, of course. Lamborghini rear axle nut. Look at the exhaust. Even that is all carbon fiber. As y'all know, I rode the Diablo and I loved it. And then, of course, we got the Street Fighter Lamborghini out here as well. All the little divots kind of match the STO, the axle nut, single sided swing arm. You know, I'm in love. 90s out here as well. Drop top, right on there. I don't think this is an SF90, but no, it's not. It's something else, but this one. I've heard uh, mixed things about it. Electric, so it's a little quiet if you want it to be, but it also sounds good if you don't want it to be. Y'all comment down below. Do you like Lambros better or do you like Ferraris better? I'm definitely more of a Lambro guy. It's just what I prefer. I like the looks, I like the sound. 720 out here. I love the color of the caliper with the chalk gray look. My thing with the McLarens is just like the sound. It's just kind of eh, meh. And then I've heard mixed things about reliability. But they do look good. And I know they're fast as hell. Like, these are true track cars. And they're I love the colors, Huracan. I love that wing on the back. More importantly, we got a Ford GT. Another timeless design. This thing's like so good. I know these are just going up and up and up in value, man. And then we got the new one over here. Which y'all think looks better? The old school or the new one? I don't know. I do like the modern look. The new headlights and everything on there. But listen, that's just a classic design, too. And you can see all the way through there. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I will say what I like about the older generation is that you can get these in manual, as you can see right there. And then the new ones, you can't. So I don't know. If I had to choose, I might go with this one. Not gonna lie to you guys. This is probably my favorite supercar ever, hands down. And the Mercies, the sound of these things, unmatched, man. You got the bat wings on there, it gives us another aggressive look. If this is a gated V12, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> It is proper with the gated V12 in there, man. These are upwards of a million dollars. Yeah, I think this is probably my favorite V12 ever just because of Need for Speed. When you had this car in that game, it was game over, man. Jeez. One day, boys. We got the Porsche Corner over here. GT3 RS with the gold wheels. I like this color combo. I've never seen that before. I know I said this is like the perfect daily. A lot of people were giving me hell. They're like, what? That's not a daily. Look, you guys gotta remember that. I do daily an M1000 RR, which is not a typical daily. So my idea of a daily and most people's idea of a daily are completely different. Old schools out here, the Ducati 999, the MV Rush. Man, the details on this bike is just nuts. Look at that carbon wheel cover we got on the back. Comes with that SC project on there. Sheesh. Brutale out here as well. Which one do y'all like more? Do y'all like the Brutale? Triple exit exhaust there. Brutale, or do you like the Rush better? Honestly, I think I might like the Rush. I think it just looks a little bit more uh, eloquent, quote unquote, but they both look good. Old schools out here, the muscle cars for you guys. Look at that interior too. 
very well taken care of. It smells so good. Oh yeah. There's nothing like muscle. Heck yeah, we got the Viper out here. Another timeless design. This looks so aggressive. We got an SRT truck out here as well. What do y'all think about muscle trucks like this? Uh, slam. Y'all like the lifted look or the slam look more? All the gauges inside there. And it's a manual? That is cool. The Viper motor in there. Yeah, we. Yeah, I know this thing is moving. And yes, sir. Let's see. Oh, and it's a manual. Oh yeah, this has got my heart, man. Especially as a larger guy. Jigs right here, man. It is wild to look at this and see how far bikes have come. Banana type seat on there. And yeah, that's crazy. Look at the dash. Got a Busa Spider-Man. Grab handle for the uh, rear passenger. First time seeing uh, this is a GP race R8 V10. That interior, they all like brown. This is like the attainable green formation supercar. With the welds on here on this R8, that's nuts. That is beautiful. It's like a work of art, man. Drop top, bloody guts, V10. Sheesh. Old school chopper. And then we got the Busa. We got a GS hung up by a jacket out here. Pretty cool setup. <laughs> That's nuts. The question is, would you trust your bike to be hung up like this? Yes or no? Sheesh. Now this is sick, man. Golly. Look at that for all my engine nerds out there. So clean, man. That is like perfection right there. 107, man. We got another one over here. Drop top. Or no top. <laughs> Better yet. And it's right hand drive. Old school lovers out here. The exhaust pipe on the side. Y'all hear that? You know it's serious when you got a parachute on the back. Y'all think the H2 can take this or no? Nah? I don't know. It all sounds good though. Alright guys, so we're going to ride the M out of here. As you see, a lot of the cars are actually leaving. We'll ride it out of here. They're going to actually take it back to the dealership and then I'll pick it up tomorrow. What the heck? That's sick. But yeah guys, I'm proud of Mona, man. Her first time in a show. Super proud of her. It took a lot in me when people were like touching the bike or like getting kind of close. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Pretty cool experience, man, to have your bike in a show, especially just have people like oogling or talking about it. I'm sure this cop's not happy. How's it going? Thank you. Oh, maybe he is. He's seeing cool. Yeah, this M1000, I always tell you guys, it's just something you gotta see in person to really appreciate just all the carbon and details on here. There's so much for your eyes to kind of look at. BMW really did a great job with this bike. This one is a head turner. Don't get me wrong, the S1Ks are beautiful, like we got over here. We got Chris, he's on the single R which is pretty cool to see. Lots of similarities, obviously, between these two bikes. This one has keyless, it's not fair. What the heck is that, man? Keyless, bro. Are you, are you going uh, single R or are you going double R? Double R, baby. There we go, he just bought this beautiful black beauty. Right here, we got Rich's bike as well. BMW gang all day long. On this, same thing, all the same parts. All through there, wings and whatnot doesn't have the uh, ducks on the side. It doesn't have the carbon air ducks right there. But the rat rod y'all were telling me about last time we were in the video. Pretty cool looking. All right, we caught back up with the boys. Look at these squids over here, man. No gear, nothing. Squid life. <laughs> Valley race team, baby. <laughs> Look at that Hennessy TRX. Those are like a thousand horsepower. Man, that forged carbon on there is dope with the gold wheels. Some of y'all said you liked it, some of y'all said you didn't like it. I think it looks sick.
<laughs> I'm loving it, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <Get it. laughs> and that is the exact thing I wanted to hear right there. Y'all are getting two bikes in one video, man. I hope the R1M is good parked over there in that random parking lot. <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> but since we're already out here, let me check on the R1Ms. All right, rain is good, so we're good. All right, cool. All right, who did the carbon build better? <laughs> BMW or the R1M? I kind of already know what y'all's answer is going to be because I know it's probably uh, the Beamer, but the R1M, she still holds a candle to the Beamer, even though this is almost 10 years old and this is brand new, obviously. Rain, I love you. Be safe. Behave. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Oh, look how sick that Rolls Royce looks. That just looks like elegance, like luxury. Holy cow, that car is huge. That's money money. Like, that's like you money not no regular money like that's a different tax bracket yeah these things just sound and look magical man one day that is on the bucket list guys so all the bikes get a lambo <laughs> then i would definitely be broke because i wouldn't have any income so that wouldn't work but just listen to that v10 man yo that is cool gts 328 that is cool. Ferrari. I like that license plate. Uh, not bad. It's only 40. Most bikes are around like 10 to 20k. Yeah, that's the M1000. I know. I've seen someone told me they're like 80, almost 100. Shoot. No, the Ducatis get that high. Yeah, but these these don't get that high. BMW is reasonable. I love this bike, man. <laughs> you ride? I wish. There you go. They don't want me dead. Hey, hey, that's definitely very risky, man. Buddy has the HR2, H2. Yeah, the H2R. Is in town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have an H2, I don't have the R. Oh, yeah, here's the R. Wait. Oh, damn. Dream truck right here, guys. The Mammoth, Hennessy. This thing looks so beefy in person. Sheesh. That's it, boys. All the bald eagles. And then we got a beautiful... <laughs> GT3 rolling out as well. Sheesh. All right, guys. Well, the R1M is, of course, dead. Uh, yep. Yeah, nothing. So, tried push showing it. Couldn't get push start. Everyone that was at the show is already way away, like 45 minutes plus away. I don't know why, but these R1s just have such weak batteries. This bike is always dying. I've replaced the battery on this thing like two or three times. So if anyone has any other solutions to prevent this kind of stuff from happening, please let me know. Just left the bike on accidentally as I was flying the drone. It wasn't on for that long, maybe a few minutes. And it wasn't even just the key was turned on. And uh, I did that on all the other bikes. No other bike has ever given me an issue. This one, if you do that and forget to turn it off, you're done. My Yamaha owners, you know what I'm talking about, but, and my phone's about to die. So this could get interesting as the sun's setting. And I have no idea where I'm at. You can't make this stuff up, man. You really can't. Shout out to Chris, man. He pulled up with the boys. Jesus. <laughs> My knees just hurt watching you do that, man. I wish I could still do that. And Jix and Jax for pulling up, man. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get this bike jumped in. Come on. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, and we are back with rain. I'm loving the vibes of the palm trees and this beautiful carbon in the sunlight looks magnificent, man. If y'all couldn't tell, I'm really enjoying uh, being in Tampa. This is really a cool city. I've only been here for about a month, and man, it's been a blast. <laughs> like I said, you really don't even have to be going fast on this thing to enjoy it. And we got another TRX. Oh my gosh, the dream. One day, boys, mark my words. It's got the Ram bar in the back, too. I don't know if I like the Ram bar, though. I wonder how much one of these houses goes for. This is definitely prime real estate out here. Definitely over a milli, I'm sure, for sure. I'd love to have a house this close to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it, man. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, it's nuts. It's a beauty. 
I appreciate it, man. Thank you. God bless you. God bless her. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, no, it's fun, man. Yeah, I was trying to show down at Vinoy Park. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm on it, but yeah. It's too much for the street, but it's good. <laughs> you wouldn't ride it? No, no, no. No? <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. There we go. I'm messing with you, man. Yeah, there you go. It's a good looker, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely unnecessary for the street, but... I like unnecessary, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. No problem, man. No problem. <laughs> Take it easy, Ernesto. Gotcha. Take it easy, man. You too, man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, there you go. What'd you have? I've always had a CBR my whole life. Hell yeah, those are good bikes. They're great bikes. When I moved to this town, it yeah. a little too crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I miss it. <laughs> you have to get back home one, man. Someday, someday. As soon as I move out of town. You're good? There you go. There you go. Take it easy. Thank you. Guys, let me clarify. I think the crossplane motors just require a lot more like CCAs or cold cranking amps to like turn the bike over versus like any other bike. So like if you leave it on, like I'll leave it on to take pictures because the bike just looks cooler with the lights on. That's when it typically tends to die. So I was just upset. Ignore what I was saying earlier. I've tried a lithium battery because I know you guys are going to comment that below. And the reason why I don't like lithium batteries is because I ride my bikes in the winter. Like I ride my bikes year round. So if it was 40 degrees out or 30 degrees out and I was on the bike, those lithium batteries do not like cold weather. So it, the bike would just always be dead. Since we're in Tampa now, maybe we can switch back to the lithium and we shouldn't have any issues. and leave you guys with this beautiful view of Tampa of the water. But if you guys enjoyed these longer style videos, especially in the winter, comment down below, let me know, and I can keep them coming for you guys. We can do a mix of both, some longer format ones and then also some shorter format ones. Work hard, be consistent, and you can do anything you want in life, man. We'll get a Lambo one day, it's on the list. Rain, your boy Fast Lane D, we out. Roll to one mil, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.